Hello from Egypt. So I've been receiving a lot of messages from you guys regarding how to do the calibration right on the 3.0. So let's quickly go through the you know, opening of uh, what is really involved, included in here, so we have a clear understanding of everything. All right, so of course, first of all, we have our bioable device that uh, once you remove it, you have the finger insert piece that's already in here. Um, you have uh, included with it a wire this is the wire that uh, connects a, a regular USB 2 to a USB 3. So for you guys that have like a Windows uh, laptop, then uh, this is a good connection. Or if you have an older um, um, H, um, Mac device that accepts the regular USB connection. So that's just for a, a different types of connection. Now there's a different wire in here that you will see that this is from a USB-C to USB-C. And uh, this is more for the newer laptop. So if you have a newer laptop that has uh, this USB-C connection, you're gonna be using this wire. Okay, what else do we have in here? So if you look here, this one, do you see there's one of the middle pieces that doesn't have any pictures in the front, right? And then when you look in the back, it has a middle cylinder. And then when you look right here, do you see there's a, there's a wire that goes from here to here? So the one that has the wire, this is your calibration unit. And see in the front of it, it's clear. It doesn't have any pictures on there. So this is what we're going to use to calibrate our device. And we don't need to connect any wire to it on the 3.0. So simply the way that I will calibrate, I will come to my viable device. I'm going to turn this counterclockwise, remove the tip. And then you're going to place the, this one right here. See, it's got the little wire in the back and you're going to place it right here and just gently turn it clockwise. So now this is ready for calibration. See, we don't need any wires in the back, just the simple device itself. Now you're going to use, uh, since I have a USB-C, I'm going to connect this to it and that's how I'm going to calibrate. Okay, so now let's bring this here. And let's connect it to our system. Okay, I'm going to connect this to the USB port here. And then we go to the calibration module here. Okay, and then you click start. The fan will turn on and then it will start to take uh, multiple scans. And when it says calibration is complete, that's when your system is uh, calibrated. So now to test your calibration, you can come in here. I usually have like a, a test calibration um, card that's created. Then you can go to, I do a one finger scan. Okay, and we do it multiple times. One, two, three, four. After four times, you'll see the analyze button will get highlighted here. So now I just click on that. And then see over here, it's gonna give me an area value. See here, it says area 11,081. As long as this value is between 11,000 to 12,500, then uh, that's a sign of a good calibration. Now to even further test it, you can go to your stress scan and then do a stress scan. So just um, we come here, click on scan, and then again, now this is, I'm just doing this with the calibration device already inserted there. I'm not changing anything. So now after I do this, I come and I hit analyze. And the values that we see, see we want this to be in the, the low range to like the mid optimum range here for the distress level and then for energy we want it to be in the optimal range so usually over 50 that's going to be a, a good uh, measurement for your calibration so once you have these values then you know that your calibration is great and you can uh, start using your device if these values here are way too far off then uh, please contact me so i can uh, help you guys troubleshoot it uh, so that you can have a, a more successful calibration um and to look at the rest of the the devices that's included in your um, bio well. See, there is a different attachment here that, uh, do you see this one has a picture of a Sputnik on it? 
So this is the one that we use it for inserting of our, our accessories um, and connecting that to the bio well. You're not gonna use this one because it has a metal cylinder on it, but if you look on the inside, it doesn't have that extra wire here. It's just that metal cylinder. So this is to connect your accessories to your device. Like when you get your Sputnik, when you get the water sensor, uh, the glove, those are the ones that are gonna be connecting to this hole that's in front of your accessory connector, okay? And then you have a different uh, finger piece in your device that this is just for larger uh, fingers. So some people that have smaller fingers won't fit in here, then you wanna use the, this one for them so that uh, they can easily uh, do their scans. And uh, you will get uh, this red piece, uh, this red wire. Some people have the black wire, some people have red. Um, this is to connect your uh, accessories to your system. And uh, there should be a, a tiny little black piece that uh, will convert, convert your calibration, um, your accessories to your calibration or to your accessory connection units. So um, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions besides that. Thanks for watching.